before time began, there was the Infinity Shoe, a powerful weapon that many have fought and lost battles over. Today, a new battle is about to commence. The shoe is ours, and with it, we will cleanse the world with an almighty storm. Good luck with that, the shoe sign five How dare you insult my overgrown foot? Team antagonist, get ready. Lay on. <coughs> Hello, brother. There's no need to fight. Who are these puny little minions by your side? Not good enough! Extraordinary. Unique. Till next time, brother.
What are you doing? Joining you. Oh, uh, I rather... You know, I've never actually met a real supervillain before. What are you... <laughs> your face is all over the news and your cape is dragging on the floor. Uh, you always knew this cape would be my downfall. <laughs> Why do you even wear it? Can you even fly? Well, no, but it looks cool. Does it, though? No. So you killed the superhero? Please, he caused more havoc to the city. Saving the public from danger? Saving a specific public from a specific danger. When's the last time you saw him save anyone but a politician? What about the little people? What about us? But you're the villain. OK. Just because I do bad things doesn't make me the villain. So why'd you do it? You know, I used to know the answer once, but I don't know anymore. But what I do know is I regret it. I regret it. The pain, the suffering, the anger. Who said that? Show yourself! Show yourself. What? You failed them. I failed them? Who... Who are you? My god. How did this happen? Why wasn't I... You're no good when you're locked away. You... You did this, you monster! A monster or a saviour? You coward. A terrorist? A mindless criminal? We are criminals. No matter what side we're on, we always have been. Stop! Enough with this cryptic messaging. Tell me where I can find them. You don't remember. Journal entry. The 12th of September, 22? 2022? How long have I been here? 
It's time the people took back what they deserved. Their freedom. Signed. No. No way! This can't be real! Ah! Oh. What have I done? You, you started, started the fire! fire. I'm... Liv Nile. I don't understand. They will hunt you. Yes. Do you know what they need to do? I think the only way to describe it would be groundbreaking. conceived by my father. 20 million he spent building as well. And on my 16th birthday, it became mine. So I sacked his entire crew and hired a new, fresh group of free-thinking individuals that were really on my way of rent. Seriously? Again? Sorry! And they're all 16 as well. Is that good? Yeah. Alright, okay. I love my job. It's weird, but the pay's great. And no two days are the same. But my favourite day had to be the day that the cat got stuck in the tree. Obviously, she doesn't know she's being filmed, so it was really close. I really thought I was going to get caught. What was that? Uh, uh, it was probably Mr. Roberts. He's probably terrified. Mom, that's clearly a stuffed animal. Please, just save him. What can I say? I nailed it. My name's Blaine, I play the villain. Um, I've been on the show probably as long as I can remember, all the way through our nursery years and GCSEs. It's pretty exhausting, if I'm honest. I don't really get much time to myself. Hey kid, give me that watch. No. Hi, it's gonna have to take it from you. I don't really feel like I'm helping anyone. The villain doesn't seem much of a threat. Ah, leave the kid alone, Bill. Why should I listen to you? Because you know if you don't, things are going to get messy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. It's just, do we have to do this now? What do you mean? Well, we do this every lunchtime. You pick on some poor kid. We fight, the bell rings, and we pop off to English or whatever. I feel bad sometimes, though, because... Matt, you're right. Who even writes this stuff, eh? What? Nothing. I think if we weren't...
like rivals, we might be quite good friends. I feel like in another world we could have been real good friends. Do you want a cookie? I made them last night. Thanks. Welcome travellers, wanderers and the lost to Wonderland. It sounds so magical, Wonderland, but with the beauty of a rose comes many thorns. So this short video is to tell you about the safety of Wonderland. First off, do not feed anything you see today, especially the Jabberwocky, as it is a wild and ferocious beast. And do not touch the hedgehogs or the flamingos, as they are in perfect position for the Queen's croquet. And, most important of all, do not eat any of the Queen's tarts. Now, remember to stay safe and thanks for watching. Please read the terms and conditions before entering Wonderland to avoid death or serious injury. Happy travelling! We're going to meet the Cheshire Cat now. He said I'd warn you he's pretty dangerous because, well, he's the Cheshire Cat. He said just ignore his nonsense when you go into the room. You better be polite. You better be polite or he's going to get really annoyed at you. He's a really short temper, except he likes to make fun of you. So, hmm. yeah, well, here you go. I do suppose you like to know which way you ought to go from here. Well, that depends a great deal on the way you want to get to. But if you don't much care where, then it doesn't much matter which way you go. As long as you get somewhere. Well, what sort of people live around here? In that direction lives a hatter. And in that direction lives a March hare. This is both, if you like. They're both mad. Well, I don't want to go against mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad? I suppose you're wondering how you know you're mad. Well, to begin with, a dog's not mad. You grant that. Well then, you see a dog growls when it's angry and wags its tail when it's pleased. But if I growl when I'm pleased and wag my tail when I'm angry, so I might be mad. The Hatter is mad. You have seen Hatters before, I suppose. The March Hare will be most interest to you, but perhaps as it may, they won't be raving mad. At least not as mad as it was in March. Did you play croquet with the Queen today? You haven't been invited yet. Oh, what became of the baby? I turned into a pig. I suppose you wish me to stop vanishing and appearing again so quickly. I 
do you suppose you've seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat? Well, sir, there are lots of us, you see. I hardly know who we are. Well, I'm sure you knew who you were when you got up this morning. But you must have changed many times since then. You should explain yourself. I'm not sure we can explain ourselves, you see, because there's so many of us and we have already been so many different sizes today. It's very confusing. It isn't. But when you turn into a chrysalis, you will someday, you know, and then after that into a butterfly, I think it's a little strange, don't you? Not a bit. Well, your things may be very different, but I think it will feel very queer indeed. annoying. We seem to be back at the start. Look, why didn't you tell us who you are first? It's only polite. Why? This is all very confusing. We better go. Come back. I have something important to say. Keep your temper. Is that it? Is that all you have to say? No. So you think you've changed, do you? Oh well, yes, for a start, these good people have changed size at least three times in the past half an hour. I've already said that. Then what do you want to be? I don't know, I suppose. The Wonderland keeps changing them. Well, let me ask you a very important question. Are you happy with the size you are now? Well, I don't know. I can't answer for everyone. I suppose that man there wants to be a bit taller or that lady a bit shorter. It's impossible to answer for everyone all in one go. All I know is that it's wretched being three inches tall when one used to be five foot. Three inches tall is a very good height indeed. Thank you very much. Three inches is a very good height indeed. Thank you very much. But we aren't used to being three inches tall. Oh dear, I do wish the creatures of Wonderland weren't so easily offended. Wake up, Mr. Caterpillar. Ugh, it's no use. He seems to be asleep. I wish the creatures of Wonderland weren't so annoying sometimes. Not like us car guards. Come on, it's time we met someone else. Alright, we're going to head to the beach. So make sure you bring your hat, your sunscreen, your ice cream, all that stuff. Should we tell him the joke? Yes. Yeah. What did the what did the sand say to the wave? Nothing. Just waved. <laughs> the walrus and the carpenter were walking close at hand. They wept like anything to see such quantities of sand. If this were only cleared away, they said it would be grand. The sun was shining on the sea. Shining with all his might, he did his very best to make the billows smooth and bright. But this was odd because it was the middle of the night. The sea was wet as wet could be, the sand was dry as dry. You could not see a cloud because no cloud was in the sky. No birds were flying overhead, there were no birds to fly. The walrus and the carpenter walked on a mile or so and rested on a rock that was conveniently low. And all the little oysters stood and waited in a row. 
The time has come, the war has set, to talk of many things. Of shoes, of ships, of cabbages, of sealer wax. Of cabbages and kings. Of why the sea is boiling hot, and whether pigs have wings. Welcome to the Wonderland Kitchen, where the most delicious treats are made. For legal reasons, I've been told to say that their tarts are exquisite. Except their soup, on the other hand, is a... Uh, yeah. Except there's a rumour going around that they put heads in their tarts. Do you think that's true? Personally, in my opinion, I do. Honestly. Sure? Yeah, except we can prove to you now that there are absolutely nobodies in the kitchen! <laughs> Nothing. Idiot. Yeah. That's just our chef. Thinking? He's feeling very sleepy today. Mm. Yeah. Well, moving on. You're late! We've been waiting for your day. Do you even know what day it is? Do you? I don't even know what day it is. Well, that lot of help you're going to be then if you don't even know what day it is. Well, because you don't know, it's Tart Delivery Day. And what do you think happens on Tart Delivery Day? That's right, it's the day we deliver tart. And it falls on every Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And a Sunday. That's right, every day. Every day. It used to just be every Monday, Wednesday, and third Friday. But since Her Majesty started hosting a famous garden party, we've had to produce tarts every day. Every day, I tell you. And the rest of the cooking. Today, on top of tarts, we're making soup. Mock turtle soup. Mock raven soup. Mock fork soup. Mock chicken soup. Mock rabbit soup. Mock menstruation soup. Mock mock soup.
A message from Her Majesty. Oh gosh, how do I look for when I'm ready? For the Duchess, an invitation from the Queen to play croquet. Am oh I? When may I ask? Immediately. Right, we're just going through this forest. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. What's up? No. What do you mean? I ain't going nowhere near that. Who's me? Because you know animals. I ain't going nowhere near that. It's a huge dragon. Well, you're not gonna deal with it. Is it clear? Yes, kind of. Should we move now, or do we move later? Yes, now. Now. Quietly. Okay. It's time to put you through some paces. Assume the position for the first croquet drills. After three, one, two, three. Good work, hedgehogs. Now remember your job as croquet balls is to be as small and spherical as possible. That's what the Queen demands. 
at his hedgehogs. Draw number two hedgehogs. Assume the position for when the queen, king, or any other member of the royal household walks past. After three, one, two, three. Good work, hedgehogs. Keep those heads bowed. Remember, if the queen passes by, you must look at the floor so flamingos stand proud and tall. Final drill, hedgehogs. Please assume the position for when the queen is on an angry rampage. After three, one, two, three. Good work, hedgehogs. Remember, hedgehogs, your best chance of survival is to turn your head to the nearest wall in hopes the queen does not recognise you and chop your head off. Face the front now, hedgehogs. It is almost time for the Queen's garden party. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, sir. What do we do if we're scared? Scared, son? Scared? I've never heard of such a thing. I'm scared too, sir. I don't like being hit over the head with a mallet over and over again. Me too. After the Queen's garden party, I got bruises all over me and I lost three spikes. Three? Do you think that's bad? I can speak for weeks. I kept dreaming I was being hit by a flamingo mallet over and over again. You think that's bad? I had that human girl to repair. What's her name? Alice? Well, she accidentally knocked me into the palace fountain and I can't swim! Enough. It is an honour to serve on the Queen's Hedgehog team. You will do your duty. I want to make a complaint. It's not fair that we always have to be the balls and the flamingos always get to be the mallets. She's right, it isn't fair. We're going on spike. I mean strike. We're going on strike. More rights for hedgehogs. More rights for hedgehogs. Now calm More down, guys. No need to get upset. I'm More sure I can work this out. No room, no room. I'm sure there is plenty of room. Have some tea. Oh, I don't see any tea. Oh, there isn't any. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. You shouldn't make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, I like a riddle. Do you mean to say you think you'll find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I do. I mean, I say what I mean, and that's the same thing, you know. Not the same thing, one bit. You might as well say you see what you eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. You might as well say I like what I get is the same thing as I get what I like. You might as well say I sleep when I breathe is the same as I breathe when I sleep. It is the same thing with you. <laughs> what day of the month is it? Hmm, the fourth, I think. Two days wrong! I told you butter wouldn't suit the works! But it was the best butter! But some crumbs got in it as well! I told you butter wouldn't suit the work. It was the best butter you know! Oh, it's the day of the month for it. I've been here. I thought the time. Doesn't your watch tell you what year it is? Well, of course not. That's because it stays the same year for a lot longer. Which is just the case with ours. <laughs> The Dormouse is asleep again. Oh, of course, of course, exactly what I was going to suggest for myself. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor have I. Well, I think you ought to do something better, asking riddles with no answers. Well, if you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. I don't know what you mean. I dare say he's never spoken to time. Now, if you only kept on good terms with time, you'd do almost anything you'd ask. In the morning, it could be nine o'clock, just ready to start lessons, mm. and you could want it to be later. So all you have to do is whisper a hint to time, he'll turn around the clock, half past one, time for dinner. I only wish it was. <laughs> oh, tell me about last March. Oh yes, last March, me and, me and time quarrelled a bit. Uh, at the Concert. performance, yes. yes, by the Queen. I had to sing... Twinkle, twinkle, little... Little bat. Little, little bat, bat yes. yes. You know the song, perhaps? I know something like it. <gasps> twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder what you're at. Up above the water high. 
Like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder what you're at. Twinkle, twinkle, little bit. But I'd hardly finished the first verse when the Queen jumped up and bawled out, Your murdering time off with his head! How dreadfully savage. Yes. She is a dreadful savage. And ever since that, time... It won't do a thing I ask. It's always it's... six o'clock, mm. yes. Is that the reason so many tea things are put out here? Yes, that's it. So, because things never get washed up between whiles. That's why you keep moving round. I suppose. Exactly so. So things get used up. So what happens when you have to start from the beginning again? Suppose we change the subject. I... Wake up, Dormouse! Wake up, Dormouse! Tell us a story! Tell us a story! I wasn't asleep. I heard everything you fellows were saying. Yes, please do. Now and be quick about it, or you'll be asleep again before we finish. <sighs> Once upon a time, there were three little sisters, and their names were Elsie, Tilly and Lacey, and they lived at the bottom of a well. <gasps> and what did they live on? They lived on hmm, treacle. They can't do that. They would be ill. And so they were. Very ill. <gasps> but why did they live at the bottom of the well? It was a treacle well. There's no such thing. Shh! If you can't be civil, you better finish the story for yourself. Oh no. Go on. I won't interrupt again. There were three little sisters, and they were learning to draw. And um, what were they learning to draw? Treacle! <laughs> Oh, we want a clean cup. Mm. All move down one space. All move down one space. But I don't understand. Where did they draw the treacle from? Well, you can draw water out of a water well. So, I should think you could draw treacle out of a treacle well? A hey, stupid. But they were in the well. Yes, well in. Oh, my goodness me, how terribly confusing. Dong, 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 dong. No room, no room. I said there was plenty of room. Have some tea. Oh no, not this again. There isn't any. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being in. You seem to keep repeating yourself. Your hair wants cutting. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I... Subjects of Wonderland, you are summoned to the Queen's Court to attend the case of who stole the tart. Your presence is required immediately. Pass this down! Pass this down! Pass this down! Pass this down. Everyone follow me to the Queen's Palace. One, two, three, four. Ha! Two, three, four. Ha! Two, three, four. Ha! Two, three, four. Shh! We are about to enter. Shh! Shut up. A crime scene. Kind of. Crime scene. Kind of. Crime scene. Okay. Because some very nasty person has stolen the Queen's farts. Tarts. Tarts, tarts, I, I, I totally said tarts. So, you better be on your best behaviour, because the Queen herself is coming! And she's in her worst ever mood. You, 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 you yes, you. I've had enough of your laughing. We are not in the diamond suit. And remember, do not mention the farts. Tarts, 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 tarts. You are all gathered here today to be jury in the case of the Queendom of Wonderland versus the very nasty tart thief, whoever they may be. Now, please, all be upstanding for Her Imperial Majesty, the Queen of Wonderland! Be seated. Let's get on with it. Bring in the accused. Bring in the accused. Identify yourself. The, the name of heart. Enough! Harold, read the accusations. The Queen of Hearts, she, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The, the knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them quite away. Consider your verdict. 
Not yet, not yet. There's, there's a great deal to come before that. All right, then. Call the first witness. Your Majesty. Hatter, you spilt your tea. Oh, yes, your Um, I'm really sorry for bringing these three in. But you see, I hadn't quite finished my tea when I was sent for. You ought to have finished them. When did you begin? Um, 14th of March, I believe it was. Uh, I think it was the 50. 15th. 16th. 15th. Yeah. Write that down. Take off your hat. Oh, uh, it isn't mine, sir. Stolen? <coughs> oh, um, he keeps them to sell. He has none of his own. He's a hatter. It's a real sugar. I, I am a poor man, Your Majesty. I'd have begun my tea not above a week or so. And with the bread and butter getting so thin. And, and the twinkling of the tea. The twinkling of the what? It started with the tea. <laughs> I'm a poor man, Your Majesty. Well, you're a very poor speaker. You are dismissed. Call the next witness. Call the next witness. Oh, I beg your pardon. What do you know about this business? Nothing. Nothing whatever? Nothing whatever. That's very important. Do, do you mean very unimportant? Unimportant, of course. Important, unimportant. Im Silence! Rule 42, all persons less than 10 years old must leave the court immediately. That's not a regular rule. You invented that just now. It's the oldest rule in the book. Well, then it ought to be number one. Consider your verdict. Not yet. Not yet. There's more evidence to come yet. Please, Your Majesty. This paper has, has just been picked up. What's in it? Well, I haven't opened it yet. But it seems to be a letter written by the prisoner to somebody. It isn't directed at all. And that's the strangest thing about it. And it isn't a letter at all. It's a set of verses. Are they in the prisoner's handwriting? No, and that's the strangest thing about it. He must have written it in someone else's handwriting. Please, Your Majesty, I didn't write it and they can't prove I did. There's no name signed at the end. If you didn't sign it, that only makes the matter worse. He must have meant some mischief. That proves his guilt. It proves nothing of the sort. Why, you don't even know what the verses are about. Read them. Where shall I begin to complete your my majesty? Begin at the beginning and then go on till you reach the end. Then stop. They told me you had been to her and mentioned me to him. She gave me a good character but said I could not swim. He sent them word I had not gone. We know it to be true. If she should push the matter on, what would become of you? I gave her one, they gave him two. You gave us three or more. They all returned from him to you, though they were mine before. If I or she should chance to be involved in this affair, he trusts to you to set them free exactly as we were. My notion was that you had been, before she had this fit, an obstacle that came between him and ourselves and it. Don't let them know she liked them best, for this must ever be a secret kept from all the rest between yourself and me. Why, that's the most important piece of evidence we've heard yet! So now, let the jury decide. Wait, I don't believe there's an atom of meaning in that note. Well, if there's no meaning in it, that saves our whole world of trouble. So we needn't try to find any. Yet, I know, I seem to find some meaning in it after all. Said I could not swim. You can't swim, can you, Knave? Do I look like it? I'm made of cardboard. It's all right so far. We know it to be true. Why, that's the jury, of course. I gave her one, they gave him two. Why, that must have been what he did with the tarts, you know. But it goes on. They all returned from him to you. And why, there they are. Nothing could be clearer than that. Then again, before she had this fit. You've never had fits, my dear. I think. Never. Well then, the words don't fit you. It's a pun. So now, let the jury consider their verdict. No, no, sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stuff and nonsense. The idea of having the sentence first. 
Well, that's very silly. Hold your tongue. I won't. Hold your tongue. I won't. Off with her head! Off with her head! Who cares for you? You're nothing but a pack of cards! I'm so happy I found you here. What chaos you and your friends here have caused. The Queen is so angry, but I'm sure she'll find something else to get mad at before long, if she hasn't already. I'm so very tired, Mr. Rabbit. I've been down here so long, shrinking and growing and talking to all sorts of mad people. I think it was time I was getting home. Oh, Alice, I will miss you, but I suppose it's time for you to be getting home. Ooh, and I'm late. Late for a very important date. Goodbye, Mr. Rabbit. Goodbye, Alice. It's time for me to go, my friends. I'm so very sleepy and I'm going to be getting home. Home. What a wonderful world. Still, I think I should like to dream of it.